everybody at this time of the pandemic going on all of us are very very nervous we have so many questions we don't know what's gonna be how it's gonna be what should we do how should we do who should we go to what should we talk about and i want to start by doing something simple but relaxing i want everybody to join me into a mindfulness exercise where we are going to close our eyes and we are going to meditate. Basically, we are going to get ourselves into a very relaxed state. Remember that nobody sees you and nobody hears you but me. I want you all to relax. Just let yourself relax. We are going to start. All right, ladies, close your eyes and concentrate. Move to a comfortable position and shift all your tension to your breathing. Slower your deep breaths. Take a deep breath from your nose and take it out from your mouth. Allow yourself to relax. Everybody deep breath in and out. Allow yourself to be free. Feel your lungs expanding. Tune into your body. Notice how you feel it and try to relax. Try to see what your body is telling you, where the tension is. Give yourself permission to relax. Send yourself love and kindness. Tell yourself how great you are in this very difficult time. You're doing great. You've done great. And you're doing amazing. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Take the time to thank God, to thank Hashem. Thank yourself for being able to breathe now, for being healthy right now, for allowing, you, allowing yourself for a few minutes to feel relaxed. Deep breath in and deep breath out. I know that your mind might be racing and your thought may be coming to the front of your head. That's okay. Let the thoughts come. Redirect them back to the center of your breathing, to the anchor of your body. Keep taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out because we can because Hashem gave us the ability, the opportunity to breathe and to be healthy. I want you now to think of one thing that happened to you today that made you smile. 
that made you happy today or perhaps made you thankful? Is there anything that made you thankful or smile today? I want you to think about it. Fill yourself up with those feelings, with the feeling of joy, with the feeling of happiness. Allow yourself to feel happy. Allow yourself because you deserve it. Fill it up all the way from the top of your head to the toes of your feet and back from the toes of your feet to the top of your head. At this point, you can allow yourself to smile. Smile while exercising the mindfulness exercise. While you smile, take a deep breath in. Feel your lungs expanding and take a deep breath out. Thank you everybody for joining. Focus on your breathing a little more. Let your body relax. Okay, everyone, together now, I want to count to three, and I want all of us together to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out at once for three consecutive deep breaths. One, two, three. At this pandemic time, there are so many people around the world that due to the disease cannot breathe. I want us all together to put in our mind and in our body and give these people who are on ventilators, who are sick and having shortness of breath, the power, the strength to breathe. We are all going to breathe for them together. Three consecutive breaths, and we're gonna start the count of three. One, two and three thank you everybody now all of us together Everybody to repeat after me. Nobody can hear you. You are all muted. I want you to repeat after me. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May we be safe. May we be happy. May we be healthy. 
May we be safe. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be safe. May we be happy. May we be healthy. Ladies, take a few more brief, deep breaths while we come back to our reality. Thank yourselves. Appreciate yourselves. Thank you, thank you, God, for having the health that we have. Thank you, Hashem, for having a home. Thank you for having our feet, our eyes, our senses, our children, our spouses, our dreams and aspirations. Thank you, Hashem. Okay, ladies, I hope you enjoyed the mindfulness activity. We are going now to talk about Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Rosh Chodesh Nisan, according to Rabbi Rafael Avitan, who is a, uh, who is, he's known as the rabbi of the Segulot, he says that Rosh Chodesh Nisan is a very big etratzon. And when does it start? It start, it's already started. It starts this Wednesday night, which is tonight, until sunset tomorrow and Thursday afternoon. Now, this is a special time because Rosh Chodesh Nisan is one of the most special Rosh Chodesh in the whole entire year. But what's so special about this particular one? This particular one happens Every 11 years, when Rosh Chodesh Nisan falls on Thursday, it happens every 11 years. So the last time it happens, it was last 11 years ago, and it's happening again tonight and tomorrow. Nisan, Rosh Chodesh Nisan is, no, is the same letters as Nisim in Hebrew, it's miracles. This Rosh Chodesh is is very powerful and has the ability to, to bring miracles upon us. Um, so as is, and especially at this time of the pandemic, what, see how I am not saying the word Corona. Why am I not saying the word, the word Corona or COVID-19? Because it says, Hashem oz le'amo iten, Hashem yevarech et amo b'shalom. We say that Hashem wants us to give him strength. Hashem needs our strength. No, he doesn't need our strength. He is God. But he's requesting us to keep on glorifying his name because it's giving him strength. From here we learn that when we say something, human beings have such power that when we say something, we bring it upon ourselves. So we're gonna try not to say whenever like somebody has cancer or corona or this or that now i'm saying it just for the purpose of giving it over we are giving the disease or the um or the um something that is bad happening the power and the strength to expand and 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 control us. so we are going to stop saying that name and instead i'm gonna we use the word pandemic Okay, so especially at this time of the pandemic, we are feeling very anxious. We are feeling anxious about Parnassa, about Zivugim, about children, about our Shalom Bait. But tonight is a special night. Tonight, Rosh Chodesh Nisan is Mesugal for huge, something special, special and humongous in regards to the to the ability of it to extend us abundance, kindness, and blessings. And therefore, we must take advantage of that. We want to know that we, especially as women, as Hashem gave the Rosh Chodesh as a gift to women. Women are not allowed to do melacha, mel mel any type of job and Rosh Chodesh, because Rosh Chodesh is given to the woman as a gift, as a holiday. We dress nice on this day. We are not, we, we're supposed to be served at, at any Rosh Chodesh, especially Rosh Chodesh um, Nisan. As it, says, as it says in the Torah, Rosh Chodesh Nisan is for you, the first of all the 
the entire month of Rosh Chodesh. In Rosh Chodesh Nisan, that means that the entire Rosh Chodesh is Rosh Chodesh. It has the, the, the ability of the great day of Rosh Chodesh, the entire Rosh Chodesh. And Rosh Chodesh Nisan is the first Rosh Chodesh of all the Chodeshim, of all the months throughout the year which means that it's also Rosh Hashanah. What it is for us, for the Jews, it's, it's Rosh Hashanah for us. Everything is predetermined from today. And it says, it, as it says in Chodesh Lachem, Rosh Chodeshim, Lachem means, in, another, in, in, in Hebrew words, it also means Melech. Lachem is the same otiyot of Melech. So Rosh Chodesh Nisan, is the Chosh Chodesh that we are supposed to, and we are queens, we are kings, and we are able to request and receive anything we want, just like kings and queens. Kings and queens have the privilege to ask for whatever they want and also receive whatever they want. So at this time of the year of, of Rosh Chodesh Nisan, we have that ability and we should take advantage of this ability. The Baal Shem Tov says that Bechol Rosh Chodesh Nisan danim et ha'adam matiya avoda v'aminu sh'yasok v'ota shana. Rosh Chodesh Nisan ze ha'et ha'mufkhar shel tfila ki berosh Chodesh ניסן נקראת כל השלטונות של העולם, מהמלכים ועד עובדי הביובים, הכל מתחדש בכל ראש חודש ניסן. The Baal Shem Tov says that every ראש חודש ניסן, the person is being judged on what job and what promotion and what position he will have throughout the year. And um, this ראש חודש is chosen to be the, the prey, this Rosh Chodesh is the is chosen time for prayer because in Rosh Chodesh Nisan all the authorities, kings, leaders of the world are being chosen and nominated from from being a king or from being a an angel to being somebody who works at at, at a sword. It doesn't matter what, but you we are all being nominated and chosen of what kind of job we're gonna do what kind of position we're gonna hold and how much money we're gonna make. It's being determined today, girls, today on Rosh Chodesh Nisan, which means that a lot of people who were fired, people who lost their jobs, which in this pandemic, a lot of people lost their job, they cannot work, and for how long can we get paid for the time that we don't work, right? So at this time, or if people who want promotion, this is the time, Rosh Chodesh Nisan is the time to ask for a job, for promotion, for nomination, because the Baal Shem Tov says that at this time, is a special time for the Jews, to uh, receive whatever they want. Um, as it has an abundance and, and, and blessing. The Mekubala Eloki Mahavta says that Rosh Chodesh Nishsan it Chadesh Aulam, the whole Yudi Bifrat, Kol Shitra, Hobot, Rag Zero, Neget Kol Echad Bechad Misrael, Shehem, Kodem Rosh Chodesh Sala, Kol Mebutal, Umid Batel, Kelo Ayam Amash. So the Mekubala Eloki says that on Rosh Chodesh Nisan, every Jewish person, especially Jewish person, who has any kind of judgment, any ticket that we got, any sort of child support problems, or anything to do with judgment, is, it could, has the ability or any bad decree such as the pandemic, we have the ability to nullify it, nullify it with our tefillot. An Rosh Chodesh Nisan was the first time that mm -hmm. Aharon Cohen was the first Perkat Kohanim given to the Jewish nation. As Aharon Cohen blessed the Jewish nation, Ve'yivarechecha Hashem v'yishmerecha, Yaher Hashem pana v'elecha v'yitukoneka, Ve'yasem lecha shalom. So Rosh Chodesh, the first time, Rosh Chodesh Nisan, the first time that we had Berkat Kohanim was on Rosh Chodesh Nisan. This is how great Rosh Chodesh Nisan is, and this is how much we have to take advantage of this amazing and powerful Rosh Chodesh. Okay, I want to give you a few tips in regards to the pandemic time of what can we do to feel a little bit less anxious 
and to basically survive this scary time. So first of all, I want everybody to be able to, to say anything they want. You can unmute yourself if you want to say something. But before you do so, I want to give you a few tips. The biggest, biggest killer is fear. And nothing can kill us besides fear. Um, there is, there was a, there was one, there was a WhatsApp, WhatsApp uh, video that I saw of this guy by the name Natan Shazensky. He says that in 1948, he was 29 years old and he was put in prison for, for nine years. And out of those nine years, Actually, he was half of the time in quarantine, in isolation. And out of these nine years, he was 405 years in a, um, in a Tinoc. I, I don't remember, I forgot, I wrote it for myself somewhere, but it's like a small place that you can't move, you can't see anything, it's dark, you can't sit down, you can only stand. So for 405 years, he was in that very deep place, dark and, and, um, and quiet and very scary. He was, wasn't able to sit down, only stand up. And he says, this is actually happening right now. I saw it right now. He says, how did I survive this nine years of isolation, nine years of quarantine? How did I stay mentally there? How? How did I not fall into deep depression, into anxiety? How my, uh, my um, mental, mental um, stability stayed together? What did I do? So he gives us five tips that I liked and I do it myself and plan to keep on doing. In addition to the rest of the things that our rabbis, that we feel that is right for us. The first one, he says, he reminded himself who he is. What is his mission? He says, I am a soldier and I got into prison because I am a Zionist. This was the reason they sentenced him for nine years in quarantine, in isolation, because he was a Zionist. He reminded himself that he is a soldier and he has a mission. And his, his mission was to protect his, his nation and that he, he, he loves Israel and he loves Hashem and nobody is going to stop that. So if we remind ourselves who we are, not only we are Jews, we are also women. The entire Torah, the entire Tanakh is based on the woman. If we remind ourselves who we are, we are the mothers of, of the Jewish nation. We have the ability and we are the motivator, the inspiring and the empowering of our children, of our husbands, of our uh, brothers and sisters. Remind yourself at this time of war that it's your job to stop the pandemic from spreading. Listen to authorities stay home. Have your children stay home. This is the time to reflect on yourself and give your children, give your husband, your spouses, your time, the true attention. The second point that he brings up is don't build up on the idea of it's soon gonna be over. Why? Because it's not up to you. It's not up to us when this whole pandemic situation is gonna be over. This is up to Hashem. But at this time, we have to remind ourselves and set to ourselves goals that we can control, such as what we're gonna read, what we're gonna speak, how we're gonna pray, or 
let's say other goals like I always wanted to read this book on my shelf but I never got to it so within three days I would like to read this I would like to learn how to dance I would like to learn how to cook different different people have different ideas set yourself different goals or this time I would like to put into disciplining my kids into showing them morality into teaching them hygienic um, skills social skills Give yourself short lived ter terms that you are in control of. The third tip is never give up on your humor. I remember posting not long ago something on Facebook and somebody got very upset because there was some sort of like somebody set up their table at home with uh, different uh, they, they, for Shabbat and then they put a mask there and uh, and and like different pills and they made some something funny out of it and somebody on Facebook were very mad at me for sharing something like this because they thought they thought it wasn't funny so what I'm trying, what he was trying to say, and what I'm trying to pass on is that we have to remember to, to be able to laugh, whatever makes you laugh. Yes, not laugh at the pandemic, not laugh at authorities, but laugh at ourselves, laugh with each other, not at each other. But being able to laugh and make a joke is very important. And the fourth thing is think of a hobby. He used to think of something that he likes to do. He likes to play shachman. So although he did not have the chest, chest, it's called chest. He did not have the chest in, in, in prison, but he used to play in his head all the time, play in his head, imagine. He used to imagine, that's how bad his conditions were. We have the ability to play cards, to dance, to sing, whatever your hobby is, Take it out right now. Allow yourself to experience it, to, 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 actually, to actually do it. This is the time. You got the time to do it. And the last thing, which is also the infinite thing, is to remember that we are one nation. Feel the connection to yourself, to your spouse, to your date to your children, to Hashem, to God. We have to think, everybody's asking, what does Hashem want? What does he want? What does he want? What does he want? We have to look at the hardships. In the hardships, there is the answer. Right now, it's hard for all of us to be alone, to be isolated, to be quarantined, right? Which Hashem wants us to be united.